These shorts have generated over 1 billion views and are all over the internet. Right now, the algorithm for shorts is optimized to give you views fast even if you have a brand new channel. So today, I'm going to start a YouTube shorts automation channel only using AI tools. So let's begin. The first thing that I want to share with you is the actual process that I'm going to follow. First, we're going to need to do market research to find the best topics. Then we're going to need to set up the YouTube channel only using AI tools, content creation, generating the actual shorts, uploading and optimization, making the shorts go viral. To find the best topics, what I'm going to do is very easy. I'm going to go on my phone, scroll for a couple minutes and see what shorts I'm going to get recommended. These recommendations will definitely be different depending on each person that's watching as it's based on your personal interest. But for me, I expect to see a lot of business and self-development recommendations. So let's see. A common theme that I found after about five minutes of browsing to my feed is that I get a lot of podcast recommendations. Now, I personally do watch a lot of podcasts, but we need to see a little bit better and we need to dig a little bit deeper to see which ones are the most popular podcasts out there. For this, I went to Google Trends and made sure to select the United States as a region and YouTube search as a filter right here. Then I went down below and selected top instead of rising because we want to go with something that already has an established audience. The most popular searches seem to be Joe Rogan's podcast and the full send one, but because I'm more familiar with Joe Rogan's, we're going to go with this one. Now, one quick step before we wrap this up, I search on YouTube to check if there are any other channels doing the same thing and indeed I found some. Competition is not a bad thing in this case because it validates that what we're trying to do is proven. Step two, set up the YouTube channel. Now that I had the topic, the next thing that I wanted to do is use AI to help me set up the YouTube channel. First, I went to ChatGPT and asked it to come up with 10 different YouTube channel names for a YouTube source channel about Joe Rogan's podcast clips. And one extra step to do here is make sure the channel name isn't already taken by another user on YouTube. And here I lost about 10 minutes because all those names generated by ChatGPT were taken. And finally, I chose GRE hooks. Once I had the name, I also asked ChatGPT to write a paragraph long description for our channels about section. I don't believe this is gonna make it or break it, but if we can do it, why not? And boom, here we go. We have the name, we have the description. Now it's time for the artwork. For this one, I'm gonna use another AI tool called Mid Journey. Mid Journey operates on Discord, so all I needed to do for this one is type slash imagine and exactly what I wanted the tool to create. I played with it for a couple minutes and here's what I came up with. We got a profile picture. Now let's talk about the banner. For this one, I went on canva.com, which is a completely free tool. It's not AI, but it's completely free. And I created a majestic, professional looking YouTube banner. Take a look. As you can see, guys, I literally spent just two minutes coming up with this free subscribe banner. So do not overcomplicate it. Keep things simple because this is going to help us in the future. Step three, content creation. Now, this is the, my favorite step of the entire process. I was mind blown when I heard about this tool. And then when I saw how it works and what it can do, it's, it's literally insane. The tool is called Opus Pro and let me show you how it works. Basically, it repurposes long videos into short ones in one click. Now, the best thing about it is that you get 30 clips for free or about two or three hours of free content. So let's play with it. The only thing I need to do here is find a longer format video. They recommend over 15 minutes and paste the link of that video in here. It took about two minutes and they already generated the clip. So let's take a look. Now, I pasted the link from a clip that was talking about aliens and UFOs and Opus generated four short from pieces of content from that. They give us a transcript, a virality score, and an insane editing feature. Let's play around a little bit. For press this button right here, it will allow me to change the font or any of the words that I want to edit and the colors or even the formatting of the text. Now, I'm not going to play around too much, but the only thing I want to change is this green accent color of the text with red because I think it matches Joe Rogan's theme better. What I'm also going to do, I'm going to go over here and save this as my own theme because I plan on posting more shorts exactly like this one. So I don't want to have to select the red color for each and every single one. And instead, I save my preset and then it's going to be automatically applied to all the other ones. Such a time saver. Save and compile, then download. Step four, upload an optimization. All I need to do now is take those videos that we created with Opus and slam them into YouTube. The most important thing right now is to title and tag those shorts properly to increase their chances of going viral. For the title, Opus actually also helps. It gives us an automatically generated title that you can use and it's not bad at all. But what I'm going to do is again, I'm going to make a couple tweaks and also add a couple emojis to it because I've seen while I was scrolling to my phone that most of the viral shorts, especially if they're from podcasts, they use a couple emojis. So I'm going to do exactly that. Do not reinvent the wheel. Now we got the titles for the tags. I'm going to keep it simple. Go to ChatGPT, ask it to come up with a couple tags that they would use. 
for YouTube short clips about Joe Rogan's experience. And we're only gonna choose two or three of them because we're also gonna use some specific ones. There we go. A very, very important tip that I want you guys to do right here is to always use hashtag shorts as the first tag. I'm not 100% if it's gonna make or break your short, but I know for sure that it's gonna help with YouTube categorizing your video the right way, so make sure to do it. It takes a second. I'm gonna use those tags right here and add hashtag aliens and hashtag UFO to this one since this is the topic of the video. Now, one more thing that we can do right here and we can use AI for, it's also getting a description. So I went on ChatGPT, YouTube Shorts, video description about Joe Rogan's podcast, optimized for YouTube search engine optimization algorithms, and also add keywords in the description. Slam this in there and there you go. To save a little bit of time and not have to go through this process each and every single time, you can go here in your channel settings and I highly recommend you first select your country of residence, like here, I'll just put it as United States, then go to this setting and make sure that your videos are not made for kids because again, otherwise you'll have to do this each and every single time and also you go to the upload defaults. You can slam the description in there and also make sure to include the hashtag shorts so you don't have to remember every time. And this is gonna save you at least 30 to 60 seconds per video. Isn't that nice? Now guys, it's only been about 17 hours as you can see it right here and the shorts have not started to pick up yet. As you can see, we only have one of them with one view here, one view here, one view here. But because we, it's a brand new channel and we have an upload limit, I've only been, up, been able to upload 10 of them and it takes at least two or three days um, to get in the algorithm. So again, I have to catch a flight so I won't be able to record for the next couple of days. But this is why I wanted to update you right here, right now, although we do not have the results yet. Uh, because I want to tell you what I would have done if I would have had a little bit more time. And it's three things. Number one, I would definitely spend more time researching the topics that I want to create. Because basically creating the shorts themselves, it's absolutely free. You just need a couple of AI tools. You do not need to get any creativity or any of that stuff. I would definitely spend a little bit more time into choosing the podcast or the podcast clips wisely because that will mostly determine whether the shorts pick up and go viral or not. So this is number one. Number two, I would definitely wait and eliminate and verify all the restrictions so you are able to upload them in bulk because again, you basically can create a lot of them very fast. So I would recommend again, you get rid of the restrictions and you upload hundreds if not thousands of them and then eventually you will have a better chance. When something is good enough, volume is the answer. And number three, I will extend the time horizon. So although we've been able to create a channel, start posting in less than 24 hours only using AI, if you want to have serious results and if you want to create something big, if you want to build something big with this, I would definitely recommend extending the time horizon to more than 24 hours if you want to expect good results.